All right. So the next incision which we'll get to look at in surgeries that could be done for cesarean section. That's if a baby can't undergo vaginal delivery. All right. You opt in for ways in which um, you can get the baby out through cesarean section. This is what is a Joel Cohen incision. All right. We just finished talking about financial incision, which I said you basically cut the person down here and it's kind of like curved. All right. That's at the pubic line, you know, at the bikini line. But the Joel Cohen incision is up and is straight. Can you see it? It's just, you know, below the anterior superior iliac spine. Okay. If you draw the line from the anterior superior iliac spine of this side to another side, okay, just below it, you do the Joel Cohen incision. Now we get to look at why we do this. Finestil is down, is curved. Joel Cohen is above it, is straight. Okay, so it's a type of transverse abdominal incision. It's usually primarily done for what cesarean sessions. All right, you might get to see some other you know applications of it and all. So it's considered a more efficient alternative to the traditional financial technique. Thus, if you don't want to do financial incision, this one should be the next thing you are thinking about. You know, location is three centimeters above the financial. Okay, it's roughly three centimeters below the anterior superior iliac spine if you draw it from this side to another side you know it's straight it's done straight okay technique uh, mini minimal sharp dissection blunt dissection is emphasized okay lateral tissues are separated manually okay reducing trauma you just incise the skin maybe for the tissues underneath you can just separate them you know all right so advantage of that the financial it reduces the operation time okay um there's less blood loss because there's kind of like a higher concentration of blood vessels down here do you understand so if you incise up here there's less blood loss uh, there's lower post-operative pain there's shorter hospital stays there's lower incidence of complications of like fever coming after the um, surgery the patient recovers faster patients recovers faster okay so that's it